Where'd you learn to order a real wine like this? My wife is Italian, my girlfriend is French. Both of them are born teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Must keep you awful busy, huh? Well, you know what they say. You want something done, you ask a man who's busy. Bert, I'm sorry we struck out with Joey. Joey's in trouble, Michael. Bert, it's not Michael, it's Mike, all right? I wouldn't want anything to happen to him. Can you put a man on him? Well, we can't prove that he's in danger, and we can't hold him on the off chance. No off might... chance, Michael. At six to one, he's a dead man. Look, you can't spare the manpower. Arrest him. Put him in jail. Just get him off the streets. And just what do I arrest him for? Pushing. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you saying that Joey is a pusher? If I were to go back and call on him and find ten bags of junk and let's say the top right-hand drawer under his jammers, that would make him a pusher, right? Wait a minute, wait. Are you talking about planting it on the guy? Yeah, gets him off the street. And it might put a big enough scare into him to make him tell me whatever I want to know. How tough would it be to borrow some doji from your property room? Enough to make 10 or 12 bags. OK, nothing from your property room. Give me an hour on the street, I'll come up with all the skag we need. Bert. Sergeant. If you try that in this city, I'll tell you what I will do. I will be standing right next to you when they book you. I will click the camera when they mug you. I will take you to your arraignment. I will testify against you. And I'll tell you what else I'll do. I'll give you a big smile when I visit the penitentiary to assist in the annual magic show. Two smiles, Bert. Count on it. Hey. Hear me, okay? I got a partner dead in the ground. He's got a widow back there who calls me twice a week for a 10-minute cry. And you know something? I cry right along with him. What the hell do you guys do around here when a cop is off? Hand the widow the folded flag with laundry instructions and then forget about it? Steve, why don't you take him down to the airport? Put him on the plane, make sure he doesn't get off. My pleasure. I forgot my credit card. You wait here, I'll be right back. I think the sergeant is a very complicated man. And frustrated. And violent. It's tomorrow. I'll come in the back door. <laughs> He's probably on his way back to Joey's. Inspectors A1 to headquarters. Request a patrol unit at the Aldridge Hotel on Jones Street. Room 412. Pick up a Bert D'Angelo. He's trying to make a pickup with a Joey Latham at the same address. Yeah, I got it. Seventh race, Bay Meadows. Now, figuring the difference in time, they should be off and running in about uh, 20 minutes. Five dollars to show. I got it. Okay.
shall we? Hiya, Joey. Gotcha. Come on, Joey. Talk to me. Come on. I need a name. Bert, what are you doing? What are you pushing my buttons for? I got no name. I need a name, Joey. Who set us up? Now, just wait a minute, will you? You just wait a minute and just listen to me, huh? Look, if I knew something, I'd tell you, wouldn't I? Then why did you run when Mickey was burned? Because you're a crazy man, Bert. You know you're a crazy man. You'd have blamed me. How did it happen? Tell me, who told you? Come on. It was on the streets. Everybody knew. I mean, six guys came up and told me. But I didn't know it was going to be a fix. I... Then give me six different names. I give you nothing. You hear me, Bert? Nothing. Because if I do, they kill me. I kill you if you don't. In the alley, he's got a gun. He's threatening to kill me. I thought he was going to shoot me. He's standing right here in the alley. He's got a gun. But he was standing right here. He had a gun. He was. He said he was going to kill sure. me. He was standing right Just there. Just calm down and give me your name. Name? Uh, Joey. Uh, Joey Latham. You live in room five twenty nine. Yeah, that, that's right. Where else would he go except the Joe's? That's the only place I can think of. Well, I tell you, I don't think Joey knows who killed Bert's partner. You're going to have to convince Bert of that one. Yeah, we got to find him first. One Charlie Ford to Inspectors 8-1. Inspectors 8-1, go ahead. This is Sergeant Benson, Lieutenant. We missed Bert D'Angelo by just a couple of minutes. The chances are real good he's still in the neighborhood. Work your way west of the hotel. Try to find him. We're coming in from the east. If you see him, arrest him. But listen. Be very careful with him. He's a guest in our city. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Latham, we're going to look for him. You want to ride with us? You know what he looks like. Well, no, I, uh, I'm expecting some calls, business. If you need me, you know where I am, OK? <laughs> Bert knows we're looking for him. He's too smart to hang around here. He's not smart. He's dumb. What do you got against him anyway? You mean besides the fact that he's abrasive, obnoxious, a smart guy, a wise apple? Besides all that, yeah. He has no respect for the law. I can see that in some people, but not in the police. Gee, I find Bert a very sensitive, perceptive young man. You know what? If you told him that, he'd bust you in the mouth. Probably right, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Number five, $20 on the nose. Yeah, OK. I didn't tell him nothing. 